we're now with Danny Hartnett of the DECT Forum. Danny, the IoT is a very broad field. Where do you see your technology platforms, DECT and ULE, fitting into that uh, space? Yeah. Um, IoT, the mere suggestion, is lots and lots of technologies. Indeed. Um, but I think uh, every technology will have, will have to find its own space. And uh, DECT is no exception. We come from a very strong line of home technologies, so um, voice in the home. Mm -hmm. uh, it's moving towards data, low power data. Yes. Um, so we want to make sure that we stay in that market, we uh, build on the strengths. Um, in future, though, we'll be looking at more uh, suitable markets for us. Things like mission critical data, uh, healthcare, for example, or machine to machine and areas where we can uh, use our strengths, um, low latency markets, low powered markets, low data markets, at least uh, in uh, relation to what's possible out there in wireless. And I believe you do have one key advantage in that you have some spectrum to yourselves, don't you? Yes, we have the uh, 1900, 19, uh, 1880 to 1900 uh, um, spectrum, uh, which is really one of our key strengths. Mm. Um, we can use that to, to offer something that many others don't have, which is uncluttered, uninterrupted uh, airwaves. Um, we have a, an excellent protocol that works uh, for lots of different devices in a small space and uh, working off the same base station. So we're, we're well positioned. Mm, important advantage that. Yeah. As the DECT Forum, you represent the whole industry. How do you see industries such as yours transforming within IoT and how important are alliances? Yeah, definitely. Uh, alliances will play a much bigger role in the future than they perhaps do today, even though we represent uh, uh, a lot of different members. Um, the way that alliances will change in future will have a strong bearing on the way markets are changing. Mm. Um, we will see alliances forming in the industry that we haven't seen in the past. Think of uh, something like Panasonic, an equipment maker, and Allianz, uh, um, a giant of, of uh, insurance, teaming up to, to offer services that uh, in the past would have been one or the other. That um, is a very interesting combination, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, we're, we are sure to see uh, utilities pairing up with the content providers, uh, pairing up with automobile manufacturers. Um, I think the markets will determine the way the alliances go, but alliances will be important. So striking out and finding the right partners is important. It's an important way to, to rethink your business models. And what about alliances between alliances and SIGs and forums and things? Yeah, a definite. Um, you know, in the past there's been things that uh, ULE has been part of, for example, or still is, is the, the All Seen Alliance and the OCF, right. uh, both of which have got strong value. Um, now, not every alliance is going to uh, survive, um, but the ones that uh, represent the largest parts of the industry and has the most, uh, as, a, as a bearing on our future, uh, those are the ones that we will be part of and uh, contribute towards. Okay. Well, standards are very important in this world that uh, is developing as we know it at the moment. How can the DECT Forum ensure that these standards are properly implemented and that the solutions that are delivered to customers perform the way that they're supposed to? Yeah. Well, um, in the DECT Forum we run several certification programs for security, for voice over IP, for, for the ULE, for the low energy um, and every program has got a different approach um, the way we see it moving in the future is that without interoperability you don't have a value that customers can avail of no. so one of the real targets of our cert programs will be to be interoperable so we offer uh, a, a feature set or a set of, of functionality that will be tested among the different devices so that they actually prove they work in real-world circumstances. Yes. Only then will they get a certification. 
So this is a mandatory part of your program, is it? Yes, yes. it's mandatory. If you want to use the logo, if you want to use the, the strength of the logo and, and the brand, you have to adhere to that. Um, I think it also offers the, the users uh, the uh, real benefits in terms of quality, uh, in terms of uh, interoperability and adhering to a standard. It's hard to imagine anything much more crucial than uh, a satisfactory customer experience, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so well, that's something that we're never going to change on. It's, uh, it's always been our goal and uh, we'll continue to do. Okay, thanks very much. Ken.